interesting to me. Okay, I got it. It's been more than 20 years since a local news anchor vanished without a trace. But there's a new development in her case. Police executed a search warrant as part of the investigation into her disappearance. I'm very encouraged by what we saw with those search warrants because this is something we haven't seen in the last 10, 15 years. A specific public record showing that the police department is actively working on this investigation. Now, I, I believe that they are and I, they have been working on it for years, but to actually see a public record that you know, ties to someone they have looked at for years is, is very encouraging. 27-year-old Jody Hoosentrout never showed up for her morning shift at KIMT-TV in Mason City, Iowa on June 27, 1995. Even though a body has never been found, she was declared dead in 2001. We're all praying and hoping that she's okay. Hoosentrout's friend, John Van Sice, was the last person to see her alive and told a local news station at the time he was hoping for her safe return. He was reportedly the interested party listed on the warrant police executed last year, seeking GPS data on vehicles that may be connected to the case. In the past, Van Sice has reportedly denied having anything to do with her disappearance. But those who have been searching for who's in truth are hoping modern advances will finally help crack the case. I think cases in this day and age are much easier to solve because there's much more technology, there's DNA, there's different te technological things we can use to try to solve these cases a lot faster. I mean, this is in the middle of the 90s uh, where technology has grown leaps and bounds since then. Josh Benson is a journalist who runs the nonprofit Find Jody. He spent years reporting on and investigating who's in Trude's case and says he hopes the police are closer to getting answers. We know that cases 20 years and older can be solved, so that's why we're holding out hope that this one will be solved as well. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Mara Montalbano.